Hello Capricorn, welcome back or welcome if y'all are new to my channel. My name is Jazz and this is another general love reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. You guys, I hope you are doing well. I hope that this message finds you well and I hope that you <laughs> find some insight from this. Capricorn, sit back, relax, take a chance, smash that like button, leave a comment down below. Just don't forget to make sure your little monkey butt is subscribed to the channel for more content and for more of me capricorn let's jump into this general message here what does capricorn need to know or be aware of here please spirit general energies that capricorn is connecting to number 30 this is uh the energy of the lily number 30 this is mature very mature energy this is a, a very mature male or masculine energy um, that seems to be coming into your life here this is like a king of swords uh, somebody who is very sure of what they want this person's very 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 mature I'm just getting um, bottom of the deck is imprisonment the moon and the mice I do feel like this person has a lot on their mind that they want to reveal to you I do feel like this person may have been silent or uh, kept to themselves um, about a lot of different things so let's see what else wants to come through for this mature individual show us more please spirit for this mature individual connecting to Capricorn okay Bottom of the deck is the tower. And then you have 37, the clock. This is something about divine timing, something like divine timing here with the clock, right? It talks about uh, the time. It talks about something uh, being patient, um, not rushing certain things. It's, it is a wild card. So it has a lot to do with the changes, you know, that are gonna be coming into your life. Bottom of the deck here, we have the tower, which does talk about like an established energy. It talks about stability. It talks about an actual building of sorts. Um, so this could be your home, this could be work, but there are changes that are coming in here. Um, your intuition is picking up on this and this is having a lot to do with a shift or a change in your life here. Capricorn, I feel movement as well with this. This is movement, especially with this tower card. I'm picking up on movement. I feel like this is a lot of energy in which you've, um, this is going to be like some sort of long-term investment here that you're dealing with. Um, and I feel like you're kind of leaving, yeah, look at that, your home. You're leaving one thing behind and moving on to something new here. So show us more for Capricorn. So <laughs> Capricorn, I am telling you, there's this sense of something new that's coming into your life. Somebody wants to start something new. This is now coming from um, a loving individual, a masculine individual that is very loving. They're looking for stability. They're looking for home. You know, they're looking for a family. This person, this is like fourth house energy. This is Cancerian energy. So you know, overall, this person is wanting to to be in love, basically. And, you know, they're looking for a very stable environment for them. And, and you know, this person, they have a lot of emotion that they want to express. There's also a lot that they have held back. Um, no, that's okay. This person has held back um, or is holding back. But this person is a mature all-knowing individual so they know exactly what they want and how they're going to kind of go for it capricorn we have the mountains we have the main female and we have the moon energy so the mountain represents challenges or difficulties and you have eight of wands energy attached to that as well with the main female and the moon with the eight of cups I think a part of this is overcoming the 
the mindset energy Capricorn right and and depending on which side of the situation you're on with this it's like needing to overcome like this feminine energy female needs to overcome you know the racket that's kind of going on which is creating a challenge in her mind uh, and also telepathically and we see that with uh, the mice and the mountain so it's kind of giving challenge you know mental challenge mental difficulty here but you know the letter with the bird there's some sort of unexpected communication and this unexpected communication does alter this feminine's like mindset a little bit and kind of puts her in that hyperdrive overdrive type of energy so let's go ahead and see what wants to come through here what is this talking about there's definitely a mature individual that's going through a physical change in their life um, Capricorn this could be you or somebody that's coming into your life to do this or bring this to you I do feel like this mature individual that we're looking at here you know has a good head on their shoulders they're they're very um, capable and competent very mature um, they've put a lot of forethought into what they're doing before they just kind of go and do it um, again like I said this could be you or this could be somebody you're involved with you've been very patient with this energy as well number 37 five of swords energy trying to come out do not let the the ego do not let other people keep you from making the decisions that you know need to be made here in your life capricorn i think that it's super important to understand that all right show us what we need to see here Tell us about the energy of the lilies, number 30. Look at this. So we have the page of pentacles. So it's very interesting. So it's like we talk about this very mature individual that comes in, this king-like energy. And we have the page of pentacles, which is quite all right because it's fresh. It's new. It's, you know, kind of starting from the ground up, wanting to plant a seed of some sort, you know, seeing things from a new perspective yeah definitely putting the feelers out there um really wanting to dive all in there's a lot of rapid movement a lot of rapid change that's coming from this person i do yeah lots of eights here so you have the eight of wands eight of cups eight of swords and the magician i do feel like this is a situation that has been manifested um by willpower by thought okay and and i feel like this is you know needing to break free and really bust out and bust open um out of fear right and and really indulge into this so this is something that's going to challenge you capricorn um challenge you to really break out of fear and recognize or notice when there's a manifestation in front of your face and allow yourself to start fresh to start new It's almost feeling like the time has come to to make this transition. The time has come to make this change, and it is brand new. It's brand, brand new. Page of Pentacles. You're going to feel very, like, novice, like you haven't done this before, but that's okay because it's it's that's the life cycle. Look at this page of wands. Now is the time to really take this chance take this leap of faith the page of wands is very much like a mini full energy and they are very inspired and you know willing to kind of step out and do things yeah we have the six of wands at the bottom of the deck here capricorn the timing is right for you to to go about this energy you're receiving a lot of different messages here allow yourself to be very free fluid and flowing with what you are feeling here the star Aquarian energy mm. this feels really good I do feel like this is something that is allowing your world to expand your world your mind yeah your physical world your mind here with the Emperor this is you know your life this is your physical life this is the institutions organizations your family the person that you're with It's going to feel new. It's going to feel different. Yeah. Let's 
So you have the King of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, and the Moon. There is a very fantastical, dreamy-like relationship that's coming in here. Um, I do feel like there's a masculine that's going to take initiative. Um, I do feel like this is a pattern. This is this is some sort of cyclic pattern that you guys are getting ready to go into, and I feel like this is of past life. Um, there's a lot that is to be learned and to be achieved from the situation. I feel like this is also the the time of feminine fertility. Um, so there's a lot that's going to be grown and coming from this connection, coming from this situation. It's a lot to come. Let's see. There is a lot coming from this situation here. Capricorn, let's see. Tell us about... Tell us about the page of wands on the star. Tell us about the page of wands on the star. Six of cups. This is like past life soulmate energy. It's like things have, have come back around. Again, this is to expand your own consciousness, your own awareness. Um, this is very inspired energy with the Hierophant here. Yeah, and the Star once again, and the Ten of Cups. Oh my God, and the Four of Wands. This is a match made in heaven, whatever the hell this is. This is a, a, it's like the timing has come for this to come back around in your life. And it's a, a cyclic energy that it's like it only comes around once in a lifetime type of situation. So you have to recognize that when it comes, this is intense. Like your world is getting ready to be expanded as you know it, right? And this is this is bringing in a divine union that you never would have thought would come into your life. You're getting everything you wanted here. It's like the spark has been lit. King of Cups, yeah. <laughs> this is being initiated by a masculine energy. So even if you are a masculine here, Capricorn, this is you initiating this towards somebody else, right? The magician, the devil, and the five of swords. Do not hesitate. Say what you have to say. Say what you have to say. Five of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. There's a concern. Yeah, Eight of Swords. It's like a concern of rejection, concern of, yeah, you have to try. It's like feeling as if I'm putting all this in and then I'm being rejected. You have, you have to try that queen of wands just sliding out like that. There's somebody that, that wants it. telling you this is feminine energy being in a fertile fertility type of mode to birth so there's a feminine energy that wants this and she will say yes especially if you're a masculine five of swords 
Two of Cups. The Sun. King of Swords in the world. It's time to complete this cycle of um, kind of talking yourself down and talking yourself out of doing something and giving the person a decision before you've asked them the question. Allow yourself to truly embrace the flow because you're going to be very surprised with what comes into your life here, especially for my Capricorn males, Capricorn females. It's all about being honest and open and saying what you have to say and saying what you want, telling the masculine what you want because you're going to be very surprised that both of you are going to want the exact same thing. And this this goes with, you know, family. This goes with um home life it goes with all of that you guys are going to want the exact same thing but you have to be open and honest to this person about that otherwise they're not going to know right so let's go ahead and get a closing message time for a nap number 24 this is about stepping back relax uh look at this thinker Allow your mind to relax a little bit here, Capricorn, especially if you're having a typical time um, and replaying things over and over and over again in your head. Bottom of the deck is time to let go and truth be told. For some of you, you're still replaying over and over your head about letting go of something else. It's time to let go. And for some of you, this is about being open and honest to a person about what you want and recognizing that they might not want the same thing and allowing to let that go. I love you, Capricorn. I appreciate you guys. I thank you so much and I'll speak to you guys very, very, very soon.